Hi guys and welcome to the video where today we'll be showing you how to fit any graphics card you want in the Dell Optiplex. This mainly applies to the 7010, 7020, 9010, 9020 lineup or any Optiplex that looks somewhat similar to the one I have here. So let's get straight into it. Okay, for this tutorial we will be fitting the RTX 3070 in a Dell Optiplex. It's a very chunky card and it'll fit after this tutorial, but we will need some tools. We will need a screwdriver and a drill to complete this process. Okay, starting off with our Dell Optiplex, we're gonna to need to take the side panel of the case off, which you can do with this one latch right here. You just pull it and the latch, well, the side panel of the case, not the latch. The side panel of the case comes right off. And to do this, I'd recommend already having upgraded to an SSD, which is one of the first upgrades you should do. I have an, another tutorial for that linked in the description. And we will need to remove one major component of the computer to do this. We will need to remove our motherboard here. What we'll have to do is we'll have to unplug the power supply from the motherboard, and other than that, we'll need to pull out the motherboard. We do need to remove some other stuff here and there, like fans and stuff too, but that's fine. But there's screws here, we can remove them, and the motherboard will come right out. Okay, now that we are inside the computer looking at the motherboard, I'll show you what you have to unplug. You'll have to unplug this cable right here, which has a pretty easy button to push, and then it comes out, if I can get it, there. And then we have another one up here. Then we have our CPU 4 pin, which needs removed. And then our front panel up here, which comes out. Our SATA, our USB 3.0 on the front which comes out easily. And then down here, there's one more cable that we have to pull out for the front USB 2.0. Then boom, you got that done. But there's still one more cable, our CP, well, our motherboard 24 pin, which is tough to get out. It just has a lot of friction, but then it comes out. I'll show you what screws you have to remove next. I have some of them already removed, but there will be one here, 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 there, there, under this 24 pin power cable, then uh, two more on the bottom, here and here. And I'll get those removed and I'll be back. Okay, now that we have all the screws removed and our cables removed, we can pull the motherboard out like so. Being careful not to put any big gashes on it and not get it caught any cable on any cables, we can just pull it right out if it will cooperate. And now that that's done, we can set that to the side. And also, if you're planning to do this upgrade, some GPUs require external power from a power supply. This power supply is incapable of doing that. You'll need to replace the power supply to do so. I'll post a tutorial on that in maybe a week or two. But yeah, now that that's done, we can get to drilling out the hard drive cage. Okay, now that we're in the garage, we have the Optiplex up here flipped upside down where we can see these three rivets right here. This is where we need to take our drill and drill them out, which they're relatively simple. They're really loose metal. So they'll be screwed through like butter. And then we just do that three times. Okay, now we're looking at the front panel, but it looks different because we removed our front panel connector. Well, our whole front panel cover. And this comes off with these four little tabs you'll find here, 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 and here. But then this reveals two more larger rivets that we'll need to drill out, which we drill out just like the other ones. Okay, now that we got those two removed, we can go into the system and see six more we need to remove, which are actually in here. We have one here. Well, you can see those holes down there on each side. There are six, but some of them are covered. We need to screw those out to get to the back of the system. But they might not be accessible because of this guy, which there's a rivet on the left side of him that you can remove to get out. Okay, now that we have our, well, seven rivets removed, we can go in, it will need some pressure, but we can bend and hopefully not completely destroy the system while pulling our thing out. Okay, I had to use a hammer to pry it out, but that's about it. It comes out just like that. Needs some force, but other than that, it's fine. And now we can go back up and reinstall our components and our graphics card. Okay, now that we have the system back inside and I'm warming up, it is freezing cold out there, we have our 
drive bay out, which means we can fit any graphics card we want in there. And still, before we can put the graphics card in, we need to put our motherboard back in. So I'll do that, then I'll be back. Okay, now that we have everything put back together and in the computer, we can take our graphics card, our RTX 3070 in this case, and put it in the computer. But first, I'm going to note that I couldn't plug everything back in like my USB 3.0 because this card's so big, it will block that. In this case, is isn't meant to have such a big GPU. But that's just a necessary sacrifice with this. But now, we can slot our card into the top slot which this thing's so huge, it just looks stupid in this system. It's hilarious. And, oh, just touch the mic. That's gonna sound horrible. Okay. Now that we've got it in the system, we can close our top slot. Maybe, okay, can't get it closed all the way. But here, now we have it installed in the system and that is how you install any graphics card in your Dell Optiplex. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time, and bye!